Hi, it's Michael from A Tasty Pixel here. Just another day at the office. I thought I'd tell you a few things about Audiobus. Thing the first, if you're using remote I.O. in your app, you'll be able to implement Audiobus in pretty much just a few minutes. All you need to do is drop the Audiobus framework into your project, create an instance of the Audiobus controller, and then create an instance of the, the Audiobus audio unit wrapper. Say that three times quickly. And then you're done. Basically, it automatically detects what line, what format you're using in your audio unit, and then will extract the audio as it's leaving the system, and then send it out on the wire to whatever you're connected to. Uh, if you're a receiver, it will basically um, inject itself as mic audio. So it overwrites what's coming in the microphone when you're connected as a receiver. And then you're receiving audio as if it was coming in the mic. So you don't have to make any changes to your code at all. If you're not using remote I.O., it's a little bit more involved, but not much. All you need to do is tell it what format you're using, the audio stream basic description. And then you just pass it audio buffer lists as you're playing it in whatever system you're using. The same goes for if you're acting as a receiver and you just basically can register as a delegate and you receive audio buffer lists as they come in or you can pull from the, the audio bus controller itself whenever you need audio. So you could pull it from an um, audio queue system for example and that'll work just fine. Uh, thing the third, white shutters are cool. To the programming room!